Super easy three mile run a day as I prepare for tomorrow's casual marathon with my buddy Logan. I'm gonna throw the map up here, splits up here, and my backside is definitely feeling it just a little bit from when I did squats two days ago, 245, five by five, though I think I should be okay by tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. That's the time we plan to start. And the goal is to just finish. We're gonna go out there, have a good time. It would be nice if we could get under four hours, but really no pressure. Again, we're just out there to have fun. And I really want to test my marathon time and pace and how I feel, because right now the longest run that I've done so far in the past few months has been 17 miles and that was actually last week so it would be nice just to see how far and how easy that I can go because really if I can am feeling good at the marathon completion I could probably do a 50 mile without stopping last time I did the 50 miler I took a couple of walking breaks though the next time I do a 50 miler I want to not stop the whole time so I'm looking forward to this let's go and I've got a few questions on if I listen to podcasts and audiobooks and what I think about them. For me, personally, I am a big fan of both. Anytime that I can learn when I'm running, when I am in the car, I'll definitely try to take advantage of it. And I'm going to throw up a screenshot of all the podcasts that I'm subscribed to up here and here. And as you can tell, I'm not subscribed to too many podcasts, but the podcasts that I am subscribed to, I listen to pretty frequently, especially Joe Rogan. I am sure that you all know who he is. I listen to 70 to 80% of all the podcasts that he puts out just because he has such a wide variety of the people that he brings on. I like to learn those types of things. And he puts it in a way and he interviews the other person on the other side in a way that dumbs down the information for me so that I can learn a little bit more about that topic. I especially like listening to a lot of the UFC fighters that come on. I'm a big fan of UFC and MMA in general, and I really just enjoy his content. Another podcast that I listen to pretty religiously is obviously Gary V. I listen to it pretty much five days a week, maybe six, maybe even seven, and I really just like the way he presents things for me, he is one of those people that really inspired me to kind of take my life to the next level to have that grind mode on. And he is for some people and he's not for some people, though for me, he is for me 100%. So as you can see with the podcast that I'm subscribed to, I have a few different areas in which I'm interested in. You can probably already tell self-development is one of the big ones. I listen to a lot of Tim Ferriss, Tom Bilyeu, Impact Theory, Joe Rogan, Jocko, Gary V. That kind of falls within that self-development space for me personally though i'm super interested in other areas as well i'll listen to the babbit radio i'll listen to rich roll they do running and ultra running i listen to the matt bird podcast jujitsu though i also listen to theo vaughn because that guy is pretty funny. I'm also a huge fan of audiobooks and actually have an Audible membership where I pay $14.95 for one credit a month. And I'm gonna throw up my library here and here. And I especially like listening to memoirs, memoirs and biographies I find a lot of inspiration from. Like I really enjoyed David Goggins. I've actually listened to that four times. It's the best audiobook in my opinion. And it's literally changed my life. The Kevin Hart one was really good. I didn't get through the Arnold one, though I definitely need to get through it. I just find a lot of inspiration. And one of my other favorite audiobooks, and it's not really like, it is an audiobook, but it's more of speeches, is Jim Rohn. If you don't know who Jim Rohn is, he is Tony Robbins' mentor. Though he is deceased and he passed away a few years ago, though he is so inspirational. He is actually one of the like founding fathers, I want to say, of personal development. And he just has great speeches. And I listen to his uh, this audiobook and his speeches every single night. I actually have an earphone in my head when I go to sleep. And when I go to sleep, I listen to Jim Rohn. And there's just something soothing about his voice. And it's... Like, I wanted to implant what he's saying into my mind. And I really enjoy Jim Rohn. If you are interested in him, just look up his speeches on YouTube. There's so many of his speeches. Again, he's for some people and he's not for others. So for me, I love, love, love Jim Rohn. Highly recommend. 
In terms of when I listen to the audiobooks and podcasts, I like to listen to it when I'm in the car by myself, just because when someone else is in the car with me, my girlfriend or other people, I don't want to bore them with the podcast and audiobooks because they might not be interested. And then I also like to listen to it on my runs. As far as my runs, I usually like to sandwich it in between. So I'll go music, podcast or audiobook, music. So that way when I start running, it'll kind of pump me up and then I'll learn in the middle. And then at the end, I will listen to music again just so that I can end my run on a strong note. So thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me out. If you want to catch another one of my videos, I'm going to throw a video up here and a video up here. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put a subscribe button over here somewhere. See you all tomorrow.